Switching gears now to our election coverage. Early voting is underway for the runoff election with multiple city council races on the ballot. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from our newsroom with a look at the race for District 8. Shelby. Well, that District 8 seat is held by Representative Sissy Lazarga, who did not run for re-election. And those two candidates vying for the spot are actually both a chief of staff for current city representatives. I asked both those candidates what sets them apart from one another. The city hasn't been my my only experience. I've worked at the federal and state level um, in Texas and now the city level. So I think my different um, experience, you know, you, there's no substitute for experience. But I worked in sustainability consulting. I worked in education reform. Uh, I worked in uh, natural resources management at the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. Candidate Chris Canales is city representative Sissy Lazarga's chief of staff and candidate Bettina Olivares is the chief of staff for representative Cassandra Hernandez and in the primaries Olivares had over 39 percent of the vote while Canales was behind her with 34 percent. The candidates talking about their priorities for the district with both having economic development top of mind. To focus on infill development and finding ways to make it profitable for uh, developers who would otherwise be building out on the fringes, like I said, uh, where it's maybe cheaper for them. It encompasses downtown. It encompasses a large part of Mesa, which we have a swath of small businesses down Mesa. And I really want to emphasize how important economic development is. Now, early voting is currently underway, and that will last until December 13th. And then that election day is on Saturday, December 17th. And in addition to that City Council District 8 rate, there will also be City Council races for those runoffs in District 1 and District 6. Reporting live from the newsroom, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.